Hello, you bunch of primitive screwheads. Listen up. This is my boomstick. I'm Vince, also known as Peasant Kenobi on the internet. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and all that shit I don't fucking know. Welcome to a deck that is stressing the London Mulligan rule as hard as it can. This is usually a turn two kill with Neoform. Neoform is a new card from War of the Spark. It's not a big part of the story. It just shows some Simic Growth Chamber Guardian guy, like, going all Poison Ivy and shit with his leaves. But he also has, like, bladed surfboards for arms. I don't know. It's not part of the story. But what it does do, it's a one-of, a one-shot pod activation with an extra counter put on it. Now, Birthing Pod, if you don't know, is banned in modern. Primarily because it makes green combo decks very, very consistent. Birthing Pod, traditionally, people will, like, value chain you and then eventually kill you. It's not like Kiki Combo or similar. This isn't like that. This card is a one-shot, two-mana activation of Birthing Pod that often comes earlier than Birthing Pod through the virtue of it being two-mana and Birthing Pod being, you know, or three, technically four. What the deck is aiming to do is we are going to make some Allosaurus Riders. That's right, the card that everyone thought was going to be broken with Eldritch Evolution but wasn't is actually broken with Neoform. Turns out that three mana is a lot more than two in a format like Modern. We're going to make this bad boy. We're going to exile two green cards from our hand to put a seven mana Allosaurus Rider into play. We're then going to Neoform it into a Grizzlebrand and then we're going to draw most of our deck. And then with our deck in our hand, with our deck in our hand, you heard those words correctly, we're going to Laboratory Maniac them. So play this guy and just draw a whole deck and be like, lol, YOLO, as many EDH players have often said with Laboratory Maniac and Hand. I sound I sound really old and like a fucking dork saying yo lol lol yola don't I? Okay, anyway, moving on. This card is good if we draw a whole deck, because we just fucking win on the spot, right? But the other thing we can do is size we can solve them. This allows us to kill off some of their creatures if we're in a behind the ball position, we can't quite kill them there and then. But hopefully it means we just ditch ten lands and do twenty to their face. Lightning Storm is an option. The ad nauseum wink on. Lightning Storm can be stifled a better because it's only a oh sorry, stifled can be countered better because only one activation we can play with that tapped out, for example. Uh, Lightning Storm can't be put onto the board and used later. Lightning Storm is a sorcery that can be can be countered by uh, something that counters sorceries. I don't know. I think they both perform in a very similar fashion anyway. This is basically like the Bob Regnos and the Grisha Shaw brand deck. The way we're going to win on turn two is we are going to abuse the London Mulligan rule to make sure that we have an Allosaurus Rider and a Neoform. That's all we need, right? Two mana for this bad boy, two green cards for this bad boy. Once that's in hand, it's, it's, it's one of those decks where it's not about critical mass of cards. Once you have Allosaurus Rider in play and you rip it into a Grizzle Brand, you have a high chance that you're just going to kill him. Because then we're going to draw seven cards, draw seven cards. We're going to use Nourishing Shoal, much like Grizzle Shoal Brand does, to gain life again. Then draw seven cards again, then do it again and again and again and again. Nourishing Shoal will ditch either our Chancellor of the Tangle, which is another way of getting one green mana on turn one to do this on turn one. It sometimes happens. Uh, or our, our spare Allosaurus Riders. This is just seven life each time. Also, we have a one of Autotron Worm, which we can summon as Pact for when we're going off, if we draw a Summoner's Pact, and then ditch it to Nourishing Shoal to gain 15 life, which is two draws off of Grizzle Brand. The deck might want a second Autotron Worm, but I'm not quite sure. We have Serum Visions to make it smoother. We have only 15 lands to make sure we don't land flood. We have Eldritch Evolution as like backup versions of Neoform to go a bit later. Seeming Spirit Guys to cheat on mana as always. And like any good busted combo deck, we're, or any busted deck for that matter, we're playing Manamorphos. Because the card is a free spell that can trip you further into your deck and fixes your mana. It's pretty, it's pretty dumb. On top of that, we've got a Noxious Revival. So before we draw seven, we can make sure a Nourishing Shoal's in our top seven by putting it back on the bar library out of our graveyard. We have a Lab Man, which is obviously the King of Condition I mentioned. And we have Wild Cantor, which is basically half a Mana Morphos. Instead of the draw, you get a 1-1 one -one and a Sexy Lady in a Bikini. But then you use that to make a blue mana to cast Laboratory Maniac off of a red or a green, or we just play this turn one sometimes, and that banks some mana for the following turn to really go off and fuck people's shit up. Our sideboard is pretty self-explanatory. We've got four packs of negation, because we want to win the turn we start going off, really. We've got four Nages claimed to blow up problematic things like Leyland of the Void and Western... They're not Leyland of the Void, what the fuck am I talking about? Leyland of Sanctity, sorry, because that one is the one where we can't shoot them with Lightning Storm. We have four Leyland ourselves, because this deck really, really struggles with Thoughtseize, and I've put in three Path to Exiles now, in all my practice games, I haven't actually cast it, but I guess it'll be useful somewhere, right? That's the deck. I'm Vince, also known as Pleasant Company on the Internet. Welcome to an absolute shit fest of rounds. Let's play some magic. Uh, this is a keep, I believe. I think we can turn to Summoner's Pact for an Allosaur, uh, play it if we draw a green card, and then we can go land. Oh, we can play Cant on turn one, sorry, turn two, then we can go Summoner's Pact, Allosaur. 
pitch two green cards, we just draw another green. And then we can go Simon Spirit Guide, Wild Cantor, Land, Wild Eldritch Revolution, make a Crystal Brand. Actually, we have enough green cards because we have both Manamorphose and Eldritch Revolution. If it sounds confusing, if it sounds confusing, it's because it kind of is without seeing it. What if they. If they force our summoner's pad, we'll be feel very, very sad. We're gonna just for fun, we're just gonna learn the deck at the moment. Okay, let's cast this. If they kill this, then we can just go find another land, basically. The wild candle just powers out a little bit by banking away of mana of early turn. The wild candle's in the deck, so you can turn any red source, like a Simon Spirit Guide, into a. Oh god, is this Turbo Gris? Gris Yeah. That's normally the only deck in the modern that plays nice. Like oh, we drew Neo Form. Even better. Okay. Sure, I guess. So we're gonna summoner's pact. We're going to get ourselves an Alasaur Rider. Alasaur Rider! That's my impression of a, a rock singer saying it. My voice is still fucked from shouting way too much at the uh, the last night of GP London, where I just got very drunk and shouted at people about how great magic is. So we cast Alasaur Rider, but ditching those two Eldritch Evolutions that we no longer need. They're going to make a blue, they're going to make a green. And we're going to cast Neoform, sacking our Alasaur Rider to go get a Grizzle Brand and put a plus one plus one counter on it. Yeah, this is a turn two Grizzy. Sure, 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 sure. I'm gonna draw seven cards. We didn't hit a nourishing shell. We didn't hit a nourishing shell. Kill me now. Let's try and draw a nourishing shell. We did not draw. Yes, we didn't draw a nourishing shell. Okay, that's that's frustrating. Uh, we also didn't draw a second spirit guide, so we can't even Simeon Simeon desperate ritual seismic assault. Uh, we have got a land drop this turn actually, so we can we can do that. I'm an idiot. We can do that. So I guess I'm gonna go Gemstone Mines, Simeon, and then I'm gonna make a green here. I'm gonna Manamorphose for the first time to see if we draw one more card deeper. We can draw a few cards deeper with Manamorphose, so that's all good. Let's make a red. Red. That's a Grizzle Brand, we don't want that. Okay, let's Manamorphose again. Red. Red. Get a bit deeper. That's not a Nourishing Shoal. Hmm. Okay. Well, what can you do? What can you do? Frustrating the Grizzle Brand bringing in our hand means that we can't like make another Grizzle Brand up the untap and kill this one. Which kind of feels sad. At least our Grizzle Brand's bigger than theirs if they make one that has haste. We're gonna now Ritual, keeping the Seismic Spirit Guide for another turn. This is a one-off Ritual to allow us to easily make a Seismic Assault. Lightning Storm can be better for a lot of circumstances, as it's three damage plus one for every land you pitch to it. But they can put lands to redirect as well, so you don't quite fully go off like we haven't. You can't really get there. This has better value overall. So now I'm going to pitch some lands to shoot them a lot. We could also make a load of Allosauruses here, but I don't want to pitch all my creatures in case we draw more Nourishing Shoals after we've attacked a Grizzle Brand next turn. This also means that if they are a Grizzle Brand deck, they can't just randomly make, uh, draw like millions and millions and millions of cards. Um, if we make some Allosauruses, we're going to have one, two, Three, four, five, six permanents, which means if they do have an Emrakul kill next turn, then we don't we don't get to play much magic, but whatever. I guess Allosaurus would allow us to uh, have lethal damage on board. That's something, I guess. So whilst that's a good turn two, I'd rather have just killed them, but we kind of whiffed when we didn't draw a single one of our four notion shells. Oh, the problem is that we summoners packed it, so we dead. We can go off in response to the trigger if they somehow attack into us. Actually, I probably should have kept the Manimal Foes and the Spirit Guide back to try and... And the Ritual back to... Oh, we're dead. We're so dead. We have three mana on turn one, but we have no near from, no evolution, and no way to go and get our dude, so we can't... Can't keep this. London, London, Mulligan. Um, we have, again, the mana and an Eldritch, but no creature. Okay, we have Neoform, we have Allosaurus Rider, and we have a turn two double mana. We keep this. We put two cards back, so Serum Vision is useless. I guess Revival's our worst card in hand. But we don't want to exile Nourishing Shoals either to our Allosaurus Rider, so... Put Nourishing Shoal back in our library, I guess. But then we know one of our shoals on the bottom of our library, which feels a bit rough. Now, oh, well, we just need to draw one green card. Let's see if we can do it. So, a faithless looting from our opponent is a Grizzle Brand going in the graveyard, which means we have to 100% draw a green card this turn or die. Yes, that's exactly what's happening. Okay, green card or bust. Green card or bust. Got there. Okay. 
go for it again then. Turn two, can we actually go off this time? Maybe this deck needs like copies of Expedite to be able to give him like, you know, whatever it is to give him haste for one red mana. Draw 14. And cast Nourish and Shoal Pitching Autochon Worm. Yeah, there we go. I love Autochon Worm. It was one of the like biggest creatures I'd ever seen at that period of magic. Um, and I had a copy of it in one of my decks at Kitchen Table Magic back in Ravnica period. Those were the days. Okay, I think we're going for the Lab Man kill now we've drawn that singular Autochon Worm. Um, okay. At the seven. We found our Lab Man. Now we need to nourish and troll again. Exiling a Chancellor. I think we need more worms to do the Labman kill, actually. I don't think we can actually do the Labman kill, weirdly. We're missing another shoal again, which is great. Yep, we've whiffed on the third shoal. We know the fourth one's on the bottom, so perhaps I should have Summoners Pacted first. Is that what I should have done? I guess we aren't going for a lab man kill then because I messed that up. So we're going gemstone mines. Then we're gonna go exile simian spirit guide. Exile simian spirit guide. Cast all our mana morphoses to make sure how much could, how much damage we haven't had. Two, four, six, eight, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen. We don't actually have lethal on board. <laughs> Or in hand, should I say. So the funny thing is, if we hadn't played a land for the turn, we'd have lethal. Okay, I guess I someone has packed all of the creatures out of my deck and then start drawing cards. How many creatures are left in my deck? That's the question. This means we can't pass the turn, but they were going to grow some brand us, so who cares? Maybe I should have someone has packed it out all of the creatures before drawing. Maybe that's the thing you do to thin your deck and increase the likelihood of getting there. If they had just one Noxious Revival in hand, we could Noxious Revival the Notion Shoulder at the top before we drew, but we never drew one of the two copies. One coin being in exile, because we use it for the Allosaur, to be fair. What do we draw? It was another land. So I think we have lethal now, right? Let's just draw the cards in the Manomorphosis first. Drawing more cards with the Manomorphosis. This is the Manomorphosis song. It's almost like this card is the one that's the problem in modern, right? Almost like it is. Desperate Ritual. Should have played that last man on my foes, but I think we've got lethal now. I love that big fucking fist. Is it a fist holding like a blade or like a horn? Or like a belt? Like he's gonna fucking spank me? They're gonna nourishing shawl in response. That is interesting and also means we can't kill them. Uh, oh shit. I'm gonna count it. I'm gonna count it in case I miscount the first time. Two, four, six, eight, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty damage, twenty damage, twenty damage. It looks like our friend here has played the Seismic Assault Berig Berigmos, Borberigmos sort of matchup before. I know it's full well that that meant we were dead. We should never have summoners pacted, I guess. Anyway, on to another game. Or I don't die. Somebody once told me the world is gonna roll me. Okay, let's try it again. Uh, we have some shit. We have a Neoform. So, like, we need a summoners pact or an Alasaur. There's eight of them in the deck. Uh. I'm going to keep this. We're on the draw as well. The hand's pretty good, I think. Our opponent plays nothing in the first Memphis and a mountain in the second. And then they're going to play a Bowman Carrier. Okay, the practice rooms are a, an interesting place. I'm going to play a Bring Pool tapped. And pass the... Oh, they scoop. They scoop to the power of the... The power of the Breeding Pool. Got them. Fucking got them. Get them. Get wrecked. Fucking wrecked them. In my rectum. Just for fun rooms. I think it's the same guy. I think it's the same guy. Okay. Orbiting Hand has Nourishing Show or Thing. It has four of our 15 lands. So, no. Okay. We've got Chancellor, Eldritch Evolution, Lab Man, and a Ritual. Nope. We've got Allosaurus, Neoform, Land, Mana, Manamorphose. Yes. Okay. We want to keep 
Put to God. So I guess we want to. Hmm. We want to keep. We want to be able to cast near form of this mana. We want to be able to pitch two green cards to the Allosaur. Shit. Okay, we're going to ditch the Super Spirit guy because it's not useful. And we're going to ditch the Evolution and we're just going to draw another green card. Is that is that what we're going to do? Yeah, okay. Easy game. Easy game. Turn one Bomac Carrier again? I think it's the same guy. I was floating around every practice room just for fun and whatever I can to get a game of modern to play with this. I didn't want to league with it straight away. That's how I burnt myself out a bit before. Because I entered the league and got ruined. So if I play this breeding pool again, they can see. That's going to be pretty funny. Oh, they can see because they forgot to attack last time? Nah, okay. So they punted pretty bad. Or punted mildly and didn't enjoy it. Okay, cool, whatever. Green card. That's not a green card. Okay. Let's go ahead and set up our next room. Okay, we're going to bottom, top. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Next turn, we're going to make an Allosaur. We're not going to make it now, because if they bolt it and it dies, we'll, we'll feel very, very silly. Um, hopefully they don't play something that's supposed to gain your life, like a Raging Ferocidon or whatever it was called. The one that's banned in standard currently, the, the Angry Dinosaur. They play an angry dinosaur, we are so fucked it hurts. Soul Scar Mage, well it does look like it's time deck of old. Bowmap Courier, okay. Take two. Okay. We go to 17, we untap, we draw a Chancellor of the S Tangle. We're gonna shock ourselves, aren't we, frustratingly? Yeah. I'm gonna cast this by exiting this and this. Maybe we should have cast that Manamorphose first, potentially, to see if we do another useless green card like a Summoner's Pact. Uh, keeping the Chancellor in hand, so that if we now draw 7 cards and don't get Nourishing, then we'll be okay. We're still drawing 14 cards. We can't die in response to it, so we're just going, we're just going for it. We don't play a deck like this not to go for it. Sack this. Get a Grizzle Brand on turn 2. See, we're consistently making Grizzle Brands on turn 2, but we're also getting unlucky with how many Nourishing shows we draw. In my practice round as well, I just farted. Loudly. Okay. Draw seven. Failed fine. Draw seven. Wow. So we can ditch two Eldritch Evolutions to not be able to draw any more cards. We also drew no Simeon Spirit Guys. Okay, we're going to have to pact. Here we go. Here we go. Let's get the Ultra John Worm. Cast this by Exile and Ultra John Worm. Which is like 15 mana, 14 mana. Draw seven more cards. Hopefully hit a Chancellor. We did hit a Chancellor. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Cast. No, she shall next time a Chancellor. We've packed it now as well, so we are just. We are balls deep. Our balls are very much on the rim of it, and we are deep within. We're going to. Totally 100% make sure that we get another notion show by putting it back into our library. And we're going to pay 7 lives to draw four, 7 more cards. We cast this by exiling this. Gain 7 lives. And they've scooped. Okay. Okay, so we're not even quite sure we could kill them there. Right. Okay, we're back in the actual tournament practice rooms because there are games going on here now. As opposed to just for fun rooms where we've just dunked on that poor but might carry a player twice. I am sorry if you see this or you think I'm a filthy net decker. I'm sorry, alright? I've got I've got issues. And I resolve them via playing net decks in the just for fun rooms. Okay, this hand. This hand, this hand, this hand. We can make it Alasaur, and we can turn two, make it into a Grizzle Brand. We've got a Grizzle Brand in hand, which is a shame, and we're also excellent on our Auditron Worm. We're gonna keep this. We just need to draw some green cards. And we've got a Serum Vision to set it up. Are we getting thought seized? That would be bad. Shit in my mouth. That is bad. I very much wish this was a thing that wasn't happening. Yes, that seems like the correct card to take. Ah, oh, fuck me. Okay, let's go do some vision ling 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 ling. We're just looking for an Alisor, really. An Alisor on green cards. So now we're testing how resilient this is to hate, right? We've been thought seized down. Oh my god, is this our, is this our Grisha Shot opponent from the first practice room again? It does not appear so. Are they Mardu Pyro? They appear to be Mardu Pyro. Okay. We're going to keep this in half of the moment in case it's the green card we need. I'm going to look at three more cards in our library and hopefully find the Alisor amongst them. No, we are not. No, we are not. Okay. Okay, we're just bottoming anything that's not an Alisor. Let's 
That's all we need is a friendly neighborhood arrow Actually, you don't even need an arrow Like a summer's pack would also be sufficient, right? Like, we just need to draw one of those two plus eight cards, one of which is in our graveyard. So it's not all like, it's not that difficult. Oh, my goodness gracious me. Okay, that's gonna be our Neoform God. Okay, now we don't just need an arrow We need all of it. Seems bad. <laughs> of all our draws, it seems pretty bad. We have two more Serum Visions left in our deck. We have three Summoner's Packs. And four Summoner's Packs and three Alice Riders. Apart from that, everything else in our deck is just a bad draw at this stage of the game. That's a Monastery Mentor. That's something you see every day. But we're going to have to size and result to kill it. Is that what we have to do? Huh. Interesting. I guess we keep going. I mean, we're probably about to take a bunch of damage, which makes the Grizzle Brand worse. Okay, Faithless Looting. Looks like our deck is a little bit soft to hand disruption. I'm not gonna lie. Lightning Bolt going to our face. Ha. Huh. That's uh, aggressive, some might say. What do I do to you? Just trying to fucking kill you on turn two. We take seven damage from a Mentor and a Monk. We draw the Neo form. So if we weren't dead next turn, we'd be okay. Like we have one more possible draw. That said, if I play the Wild Cantor in order to block the Monastery Mentor and maybe survive. We don't have the green cards for the Alice, so we're just, we're fucked. Don't you worry though, child, for we have Fallen of Sanctity to stop that shit from happening again. I don't know if cutting two Serum Visions and Noxious Revival and a Wild Cantor for the four Ley Lines is correct, but at least they can't bolt our face all or Inquisition us or Thought Seize us. So, there's definite positive upside to the Ley Line. I think I just put, took out the wrong cards. We're on the play though. We've got a Grizzle Brand on the ley line. Four fucking lands. No. Even with the fucking mulligan system that we've got here, I can't do this. Okay, so we've got the two cards. We've got the two green cards for the Alasaur. We've got the. So the two green cards for the Alasaur. The Pact. To go get the Alasaur. We need one more mana source to start going off. I almost cut Lab Man. I'm going to keep this. I'm going to put Labman on the bottom. I'm going to play this into play. So, okay. And then play a Botanical Sanctum. And then draw a land. <sighs> ah. Interesting. We will not be able to... We should have put Nature's Claims in. That's what we should do against the possible Leyline decks. So we're not going to be able to really pact for our win here. Because we need to attack them. And pacting normally gets us killed. So... Yeah, maybe we should always bring one Nature's Claim into the deck. Post board. Okay, no land. Past turn. The Lab Man kill is actually more difficult with the current build of the deck. I think we need more Ultratron Worms in there. Um, to make the deck more consistent and like just gaining a shitload of life when we start Grizzle Branding. Are they going to miss a land drop too? That'd be nice, wouldn't it? No, of course not. Well, they have cast two Favourite Looting, so they're like... Ha <laughs> ha! Take that! We've drawn the one of Desperate, which we didn't want to draw. Land drop, land drop, land drop, Monastery Mentor, right? Oh no, just flashing back the lootings. We never did not have this, my friends. We never did not have this. So are we exiling a Nourishing Shoal to go get a fucking Alisaur? That seems weak, right? Like, we need these Nourishing Shoals to win. To even remotely draw a deck. So I'm wondering if we just wait. Like, ideally we want to just draw an Alisaur. Because summoning Pacting Void means that we might just die. So yes, I'm going to wait. There's no pressure from the opponent. If they play a Mentor, then we have to think about going for it, I guess. But the Lingering Souls, that's not so bad, is it? I've seen far worse. Eldritch Evolution, that's a thing. But if we pack now, we will just die. We need one more land to be able to use our Desperate Ritual to pay for our pack the following turn. Also, trying to rely on Grizzard Brand is awkward because they probably have Path to Exile. Also, I like the fact that their lootings have put their useless Inquisitions and Collective Brutalities into the graveyard. It's almost like Faithless Looting is as good as Brainstormers and Legacy for getting rid of the cards that are useless in the matchup. God, I hate Faithless Looting. They flashbacked Faithless Looting, so they've cast four copies of it. They ditch another Thought Season and another Inquisition. Which is pretty funny. And they make a Pyromancer. So yeah, okay. The pressure is beginning to mount. They're beginning to mount me. They're humping. They're humping my leg like some sort of dry dog. Do you another Summoner's Pact? So I guess we have to keep the shoals in hand. Let's let's start doing some stuff. We get the Elder Source Rider. We're going to sack off this the Summoner's Pact and this Eldritch Evolution to it, right? Then go going to Neo Form. Draw seven. Draw seven. Okay. 
then get a Notion Shawl. For some reason, Notion Shawl at the moment has has two options. Gain a load of life. I mean, we can wrap that board as well. That's the thing we can draw seven more. Find Lab Man. Draw seven more. Find Allosaurus Rider. Then we're going to Noxious Revival. Cancel. We're going to play a land to do that. I think. Make green mana. Cast Noxious Revival on Nourishing Shoal. Use the green. Draw seven more cards. Then we're going to go. Cast Nourishing Shoal. Ditch the Allosaurus Rider. I still have a chance to our deck, right? Like, So we can go get Ultratron Worm with some. Oh, Ultratron Worm's there. I'm an idiot. I should have picked that. We cast this again. Ditching Ultratron Worm. Right, we're then gonna look how many monkeys we got. Loads. Exile Simeon Spirit Guide. Exile Simeon Spirit Guide. Exile Simeon Spirit Guide. Mana Morphose. Some of that mana. Into blue and red. Play a lab man. Let's have out so they can't path it, so we're all good. Draw seven cards. And yeah, we got him. Lab man kill. Lab man kill ladies and gentlemen i'm pretty happy with that if i sound on enthusiast because my throat's sore there's no other reason literally that's not even sore it's just hoarse i don't want to damage it by screeching anyway let's go to game three i've cut another vision to bring in a singular nature's claim so in that circumstance there we could have sized and assaulted them as well as an option so we don't just die to path because if they had laid on up in a path we would have would have been fucked okay do we have a fast kill no this hand doesn't do anything it just makes a little man under shit all, so we're going to look at that. This hand makes a uh, mana, and then... Okay, so turn one, make two green mana. You summoners pack the die! Ugh, that seems a bit shit. Let's keep this. Put two cards on the bottom. Okay, well, we we need the lands, the Alisor, and the Neoform, right? That's a, that's That's the combo. And we do need green cards too. But we're going to put Nourishing Shaw on the bottom. Neoform on the bottom. And we just need to draw green cards. That's all we need to do. They didn't mull at all. They stayed on seven. And they had a ley line. Okay. 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 Sure, 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 sure. Want to draw a one-off serum? Nah. Okay. There's the first green card. Fine. All good. Are we going to just like turn two, draw the second green card? Is that what's going to happen? I'm fucking excited. Come on, deck. Do not let me down. Come on. Yes. Okay, I said I wasn't going to get too enthused, but I'm fucking excited. Right, let's just do this. Let's fucking do this. Goodbye. Goodbye. Cast this. This deck is quite consistent. I mean, I'm bad at magic, and I managed to do it. Get a Grizzle Brand. Draw seven cards. What did we get? Nourishing Shoal. Sick. Sick, 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 sick. Draw another seven. Sweet. More nourishing shoals. And they're gonna ask this worm for some life. 21. Up to 21! 21! We're then gonna draw some more cards, I guess. Draw more. There's the lab man. No nature's claim yet, so we're not gonna know that route. Draw seven more cards. 14. Draw seven more. Another nourishing shoal. Do we have the... Do we have the size of Assault? Yeah, because size of Assault can shoot their creatures dead. So we can actually control the board state. No, we don't. So we put just another Chancellor. Draw another seven. We've used all four of our shoals. we are ten cards left in library. We haven't found the size of Assault. Okay. I guess we cast a bunch of Allosaurs. That's quite... That's pretty frustrating considering that's there. Okay. Let's go ahead. Oh, we got one more show left. What the fuck am I talking about? Okay. Let's exile some monkeys, right? There's nothing wrong with exiling monkeys. Exiling monkeys is fun. I think we're just going to lab man kill them again. It's just the easiest way to do it, right? And then we're going to go cast mana phase. Make a blue and a red. Sure, 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 sure. Do I have any more Manifoses in hand before I fuck this up? Because Manifoses allows us to actually uh, 
cast the thing while we draw it. So we're gonna show one more time. Or seven more cards. No, we're not drawing any more cards, right? So we need to make sure that we've got Labman in play and we're casting Manamorphosis to get there. Because if we if we let them on if we had, oh god if we play Labman this turn they untap and path it would feel pretty bad about life, right? Okay, let's just draw Seismic Assault then. Come on. Where are you, Seismic Assault? There you are, Seismic Assault. Okay. Right. So now we cast the Manamorphose. And we turn that blue into a green. Then we cast this Seismic Assault. Then we cast Nature's Claim. Then we just shoot them for, like, all the damage. I, don't even, I haven't even done the counting. I think we got there, though. This deck seems quite powerful. Have they let us have it? Like, I haven't even counted. We do have 60, 15 card lands in our library. Only one card left in our library. 15 lands in our deck. One card in our library. Two lands in place. We have 13, so we have 26 damage. Yeah, we got them. We got them. There you go. That's Neoform. That's the turn two kills you can get on London Mulligans to four. Um, seems powerful. Seems absurdly powerful, actually, with the London Mulligan. Potentially something that where they just need to ban a weird part of the combo, like Allosaurus Rider, maybe. I mean, it does fall a little bit to Inquisitions and Thought Caesars, but as you saw, Lane on a Sanctity is pretty good with the London Mulligan Rule too. I think this might be stressing the London Mulligan Rule pretty badly. Uh, let me know what you think in the comment section below. Was that as absurd as I'm making it sound? I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll have some more gameplay coming on Friday with a bit more editing to it. I've been Vince, Austin's Pleasant Kenobi. I'll speak to you all very, very soon. Ta-ta for now.